here we are on the home page the ethical fund supermarket and this video is looking at the risk and ethics selector the real heart of our online database but before we look at it let's look at how does it work and selecting your investment risk it's so important to understand the investment risk and we've written a detailed paper on this subject which is available by clicking here this produces a PDF for you to read through it's quite a detailed document but it does explain the pros and cons of adopting different investment strategies and how p different people will have a different perception of what constitutes risk towards the end of the document you'll see our five risk levels which have a breakdown of the different asset classes going back now to the ethical fund selector page I'm going to click on risk and ethics and at the top is our investment risk section using the document understanding risk that just been demonstrated you'll be able to pick from one of the five different risk categories and you'll see that by hovering the mouse over the different investment categories you'll see a description of the level of risk that's applied for the purposes of this example we're going to select risk level 2 so this has been selected there's the description of risk level 2 and now we're going to input our ethical criteria there are negative criteria things you want to avoid and positive criteria things you'd like to support for the purposes of this example we're just going to pick some simple negative criteria things we're going to avoid which will be intensive farming, non-medical animal testing, strategic armaments, a balanced approach to the environment, an evidence-based approach to human rights and tobacco production. So we've now selected our six different criteria. We are risk level two, as a reminder. We selected the negative screening option, and now we're going to find the matching funds. Now all the funds that meet the criteria are listed on this page. At the top here, Criteria Filter takes you back to input your details again. This displays all the results. You can filter by showing only positive funds or only best buys. Our best buys are described in the menu bar at the top in green. And at the end of the example, we're going to produce a PDF of the results. Here, the asset allocation is shown which is commensurate with your chosen level of risk. These are the fund management groups that offer the ethical funds that meet your selected criteria. The fund names are there, but we're going to filter by best buys. It reduces the list, so these are the best buys as indicated by the Investment Review Committee, and the allocation hasn't changed. You can pick any of the individual funds to have a look at and click on this one as an example. And here is a breakdown summary of the funds statement. It's negative criteria. This fund has positive criteria as well. Even though we didn't select positive criteria, this fund does have that built in, which is useful. Um, and you can find a link to the investment manager's website here as well. So we've got the funds narrowed down to the best buys. We know what the asset, asset allocation is and commensurate with the risk. So all we need to do now is select either individual funds that you will go and buy or select all the funds to get a broad spread of investment funds that fit in with your investment risk. And the funds listed link in with the asset allocation. So asset allocation for investment funds here are indicated on the international funds. We have UK equity funds listed here at the bottom. With all that selected we can produce the document that we'll need to, to be able to buy the funds once we go on to the co-fund system. So to keep this PDF as it lists the fund manager, the fund name, the asset class that 
the fund sits into, the fact that it's the best buy that you've chosen, and importantly, the investment split. Now, this is a simple investment split. It's not necessarily a recommendation. It's just a suggestion, and being a simple split, you see you've got a uneven percentage allocation here, which will need adjusting when you buy the funds. So we normally suggest you increase the allocation to one fund to reduce it to the others to keep the allocation even. At the top of the page, let's invest ethically. That takes you through to the CoFunds login page for existing users. This section, if you haven't used the CoFunds section before, register here for free.